Hello, church family. My name is Joe Whalen, and I am one of the newer elders here at Brick Lane. Have you ever gotten a song stuck in your head so you're hearing the same song over and over again? For most of us, during this pandemic, we have that same sort of thing happening. But this time it's not a song. It's worries. It's fears. It's what if questions. What if I get ill? What if my grandparents or grandchildren get sick? What if our business fails? What if I don't graduate? These what if questions play around in our heads time and again. And after we run through all of them, we hit the rewind button and start them all over again. Like hearing that same song over and over again all day during this pandemic. Oh, my dear church family, God has got a much better way for us to live today during this pandemic. The book of 1 Peter was written to followers of Jesus who were suffering in the midst of a long trial. And God says to them in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13, Therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Peter tells us to start focusing on a day, but it's not the day you and I might think. He does not say, think about the day this trial will end. He doesn't say that. What he says is, think about the day Jesus will return. That is what he means when he says, at the revelation of Jesus Christ. He means the day when Jesus returns to this earth. Because in that day, all of our trials will be over. All of our fears, all of our worries, and all of our what-if questions will fade into nothing. My friends, this pandemic's end is not our hope. Jesus' return is our hope. In fact, that hope is so secure, our loving Heavenly Father calls it the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. So Peter tells us, don't focus on the day when the trial will be gone. No, focus on the day when Jesus will be here. And he tells us how to do this by controlling our thinking. He says, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded. Perhaps a high school coach might tell us, keep your head in the game. My friends, now is not the time to check out mentally. Are you stuck inside, trying to work with little ones running around and the commotion is almost unbearable? Or are you stuck inside with no one around and the loneliness is almost unbearable? God knows, and he says, now is the time to keep your head in the game. Now is the time to be level-headed. Now is the time to be sober-minded. Jesus is going to return, and God wants us to think about that. Let's use this time of pandemic to force ourselves to remember our Savior's promised return. So today, when you are tempted to hit the rewind button and pl start playing those what-if questions again for the umpteenth time, don't. Instead, hit the Jesus is going to return and I want to be ready for him button and play that tape over and over and over again in your heads. See you soon.